Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I tie a uh, Frenchie. What I have here in the vise is a TMC um, 2487. This is size 10. This is one of the larger sizes I tie it. I have a tungsten bead 3.8 millimeter. Uh, so a lot of weight in the bead and then I'm going to put it um, 20 thousandths um, wire behind the bead just to seat it and give it a little more weight. <clears throat> I'm just going to move that wire up tight against the uh, the bead and I'll just seat it there. Next I'm going to be using brown thread. You can use brown, black, um, 70 or 140 denier. I just happen to have the, the lighter thread here. And what I'm going to do is just try to build up a little thread uh, ramp between the hook and that um, that lead wire. <clears throat> now this is one of my uh, favorite um, anchor flies for the tight line nymphing or euro nymphing. Um, it's a big fly, big pheasant tail with a pink hot spot. Um, works for me, I find that it works well early in the season and then late in the season. I'm not completely sure why that is, but it um, could be that in early season there's the larger nymphs that this might look like, uh, the Hendrickson, for example. Late season, maybe uh, stoneflies or ice, so Nikia. Um, but now uh, this size, I'll sometimes go down to a um, little smaller, maybe a 12. I don't usually fish it more lower than smaller than 12. So 12 and 10 are the sizes I use most often. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, some uh, brassy um, copper wire to rip this fly. Um, Again, like a pheasant tail saw fackle, you saw me tie. Um, the pheasant tail is a little brittle. Uh, this just gives the fly a little more durability. Now, this fly is pretty simple and pretty quick to tie, which is exactly want, what you want in an anchor fly uh, that you're going to be nymphing with because you're going to lose a lot on the bottom. Um, you got to get the flies down to where the fish are and that means you're going to be in the rocks and everything else. So flies like this that are simple and fairly quick to tie are, um, are good flies. And I um, tie a few of these, quite a few of these beginning of the season. And here it is mid-season and they're getting a little thin in the box. So I'm going to tie some more. I'm just going to wrap that pheasant tail up to behind the bead. And here's where that thread um, thread ramp helps out to give the body a, a nice thin taper. Um, <clears throat> in these larger sizes, you're going to run out of pheasant tail pretty quick. Um, it's not that imperative that you get all the way up. Just catch that last fiber there, because uh, the collar is going to cover the last little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to clip this off. I'm going to counter wrap the copper wire. Open wraps. And I'm, uh, after I tie this off, I'm going to switch thread to uh, put that pink hot spot on. I find that the pink thread underneath the pink ice tub uh, gives it a nice bright uh, collar without too much bulk. Um, so I'm just going to whip finish the brown off here and then tie in some fluorescent pink. A quick dub 
and then we'll be done. I don't want too much of a too much pink in there. Just a just one or two wraps, just to kind of make the fly show off real well down and deep in the water column. So just a little bit of ice stub here. You don't need to overdo this. Like I said, just enough for a wrap or two. And there you have it. What I'll do is put a couple wraps behind the bead with the pink thread. And just um, give another bright spot to it. we we'll finish and then that's the Frenchie. Like I said, I tie it in uh, 10 and 12. Um, depending on how deep or how fast the current is, I may use the heavier one or slightly smaller one if I'm uh, hanging up too much on the bottom.